You met the Dumuros boa and the Argentine black and white tegu, but in my opinion, none of these compare to one of the most iconic and feared snakes on the planet. Southeast Asia is home to a giant, and it's an elusive one at that. But what do we really know about these snakes that have inspired fear, myth, and legends for centuries? In this video, we're gonna introduce you guys to the reticulated python. This is Animal Steam Exotic, let's get started. All right guys, this is Hera, and she's an albino reticulated python. But remember, re albino reticulated pythons aren't a species as some like to think. Albino is just a lack of skin pigment that gives them that full color. So she's not a full species, but she's what we call a color morph, or a color variation. Now reticulated pythons are the king of the snakes for a reason, so let's find out why. The reticulated python holds the title as the longest snake on the earth. They can reach up to lengths of up to 29 feet long. That's the length of two modern minivans. On top of that, they can weigh up to 300 plus pounds, and that's the weight of a refrigerator with food in it. Now let's admit, their size is intimidating, but their diet is even more interesting. The python's diet includes animals that are larger than its own body. This can even include deer and wild pigs. They'll also hunt monkeys, stray dogs, goats, and chickens. These snakes may not move very fast, but they're the masters of ambush. The reticulated or crossing patterns of the python allow them to blend in with the forest floor and go undetected by prey. And they can remain motionless for hours. Of course, they remain motionless for hours until their prey gets too close. When that happens, those 80 sharp hooked teeth strike out with incredible force and that huge, seemingly sluggish body wraps around that victim in an instant. And then that muscular body wraps around that victim and squeezes them until they cut off that blood flow and no more oxygen can go up to their brain. Suddenly, soon enough, their prey suffocates and dies. Now, after a large meal, like a large deer or even a goat, these snakes don't have to eat for months, possibly even a year. Another thing to mention is that these snakes are actually nocturnal. So how do they possibly hunt in the pitch black darkness of the jungle? It's almost impossible for humans to see in the dark in the jungle. but the python's eyes have sharp pupils that expand in the dark and let in as much available light as possible. To find prey in the dark, they also have heat sensing pits that detect the body heat of warm blooded animals. And those dilating pupils can even utilize the light from a full moon for excellent night vision. Now, of course, as you can see, Hera is a gentle giant but that unending fear of snakes is still as prevalent as it was hundreds of years ago. Of course, some, some snakes can look intimidating, sometimes creepy, but the irrational fear is simply because we don't take the time to get to know them. But if you do, this is the type of experience you can have if you wanna to get to know these guys. The reticulated python is super strong. That just can't get them out the danger that they're in right now in the modern world. Every year, miles of the reticulated python's habitat is being destroyed for industrialization, palm oil plantations, and for housing.
Their home is even being burned down to clear land for raising livestock. And it's not getting better. These animals are left with no place to go, and that only increases human and animal conflict. And the fashion industry is taking a terrible toll on these animals. In the wild, these snakes are hunted and killed for that beautiful skin to make fashion accessories. They're killed from an early age where they don't even have the time to grow to the large sizes that we hear of. So the giant snakes are basically impossible to find. All right, guys, you've met Hera, the albino reticulated python. But of course, like all creatures, they come in lots of varieties. All right, guys, this is Animal Steam Exotic. We'll see you next time. And be sure to like, subscribe, and comment an animal you want to see on this channel.